So I've been spending a lot of time over on the GTFO subreddit and one topic in particular keeps coming up and that is the terminal commands. People seem to be very confused on what you can do with the terminal so let's take a few minutes here and discuss all of the things that you can do. I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video kind of discussing all of the things that you can do inside the terminal. I do, before I get started here, I do need to give a big shout out to uh, SFC Pudding for compiling a lot of these this uh, information here and to Rage Machinist over on Reddit for doing the initial discovery of this. Rage Machinist had done all of the initial discovery of the shortcuts. SFC Pudding and I went together and compiled all of the data based on the information that he had put together. And now we're going to discuss all of those terminal commands. So if you've never been into a terminal, it looks just like this. So you walk up to it, you press E and it brings you in. And from here you can run various commands. If you want to know what type commands, and it'll list everything out. The most useful commands that you're going to use is ping, list, and query. So for example, let's say we want to list all of our resources. Type list resources, and this will list out all of the resources on the map. This is everything everywhere. But what you might not know is you can list ES, and get the exact same results. You can even take this a step further and list the resources in a specific zone. So say you want to list in zone 50. Well, there's all of the resources in zone 50. But still typing out zone 50 is typing more letters than we need to. So let's list the resources and let's shorten zone 50 by typing E underscore 50 and we get the same results. So there are all the resources available in zone 50. We used two shortcuts there to list everything out. Well, what if I'm not looking for all the resources? I want to look for a specific resource. I need tool refill. I need ammo. I need a med pack. Specifically, you can list ammo pack. and it's going to show you all of the ammo packs. But you can shorten this one too by doing list mm. And once again, you can do the exact same thing when looking at zones. Looks like there's only one in zone 50. This also applies to tool refill and med packs. So if we wanted to list tool, tool underscore refill, there's your tool refills. But as I'm sure you guessed, you can also shorten this one with the letters OL. Same thing with med packs. List meta pack or list ME. So there's all your resources. If you happen to be on a map that has personal IDs or partial decoders, you can search with list ID, which won't show up here on A1, or list PDEC. However, list ID is already short enough that you can do list PD or PDEC. And again, there are none on A1. Moving on, let's say you want to list everything in the zone. You want to know what, where everything is. You can list zone and you will see everything that is here, but you can also list E and return the same results. This is where that shortcut for zones come in. If you wanted to list zone 49, you can do list zone 49 or list E 49. 
and it provides the same results. The advantages to all of this is that you can type much, much less. So all of the shortcuts are for list specifically. So again, if you want to list all of your resources, or if you want to list specific resources, or if you want to list out resources in a specific zone, or if you want to list a specific resource in a specific zone, you can do that. You will still need to ping or query any of them by their full ID. But we already know that it's in zone 50. So if you happen to be in zone 50, then you can ping it. And it will tell you which sub zone it's in, which sub room, A, B, C, etc. So that's it. That's the basics of, of the terminal as we sit in early access V01. We did get an announcement today that there will be updates coming soon. So there may be additional terminal commands that will be added in the next rundown. If there is, you can believe that I will make another video on it. If you are uh, watching this over on YouTube, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you see, uh, we do this live on Twitch four nights a week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Central. Whether you're brand new to the game or you've been playing it since the day one, stop on by. We'd love to have you. Twitch.tv forward slash tripod GG. And I will see you guys in the next one.